When you create a new FileMaker file, the first interface that displays is the Field Picker. So just go up to the File menu, choose New Solution, name it, we'll call it CRM for Customer Relations Management. I'll save it to the desktop. And here's the Field Picker. It's a floating dialog, you can move it anywhere you like. And you simply click New Field here to create your fields. So I'm going to start off with Name first. Now notice that I'm not calling it first name, I'm calling it name first. And this is a naming convention so your fields sort together. For instance when I do name last, you can see how these ones will sort together inside any dialog so you can easily find them. In fact you can see here that we can change it from creation order to field name so that they sort together. Not only that, I'm using underscore instead of spaces, and this is good if you ever decide to publish your database to the web. You won't want to use spaces. Then we'll go with address, so we'll click new field. And you keep going down here, entering all your fields. Now it's important to have your first and last name field in separate fields, because you might want to sort by last name, organize it, alphabetically by last name and if they're all in the same field you know it's just a full name field that's not going to work very well for sorting so we'll put in state postal code then we'll do the same naming convention phone work and phone mobile so they sort to the same place email website and then date of birth or DOB and I'm going to change this one to a different type a date all these have been text even the postal code you might think that might be a number field but you might have zip plus four or you might have a Canadian postal code that contains letters so it's a good idea to go ahead and make it a text field but in the case of date of birth you want it to be a date type so that you can search it properly and sort it properly according to date not text. You can type a date into a text field but it's not going to obey the sort routines and the find routines that you would expect it to do. Now you can bring back your field picker anytime you want just by clicking right here if you need to make additional fields. And one thing you'll notice is put all the fields on the layout here. We want to make sure that that doesn't happen in the future because we're going to make an interface and if it puts new fields on there it may disturb your interface. It may move some of the parts down. So we're going to go into the preferences into the layout tab and uncheck add newly defined fields to the current layout. And we'll show you how to add them manually with the field picker and other tools.